Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Professor Spira. It's a brother here. Yeah. Baby Baba G. And you are now plugged into the Immortality Pipeline. This is a show where we will be discussing physiological liberation. And what is exactly physiological liberation? I think I'd like to hear what Baby Baba G has to say about physiological liberation. It is health. That's wealth. Health is wealth. Health is yeah. wealth. There, there you it go. Is. There okay. it is. Great, great, great answer. Yes, sir. Um, you know, and uh, we were just uh, discussing at the door as we came out with the, uh, the show before us about how there's nothing more important than your health. Um, you know, I had a chance to... Uh, be there when my mother passed, my grandmother and my mother-in-law. And, uh, you know, the, I mean, to watch them, you know, on their, quote unquote, their deathbed, as they say, and to see that all the material things, all the achievements and things that they had, had uh, achieved through their life didn't mean a thing. What right, what right. was most important was that one more gas of air that they were trying to get, and you could see them just mm. struggling for it, and that, that that was the the thing was air, right? And that witnessing that, and, and especially in '96, seeing it like a month apart. I mean, my grand, my mother-in-law, my mother, and my grandmother, like a month apart of each other. Just you know, I had a chance to really saturate you know that and, and and watch those you know and, and watch that whole um thing take place and the one thing that they all had in common with that was that they were gasping for air the last breath they were gasping and and all i mean like i remember my mother was like two hours of just trying to get air you know air Air. She wasn't thinking about her homes or, you know, her property right, or property right. or her material things. Of you know, she worked thirty years for the you know postal service and and had achieved a lot of material things and and uh, she wasn't thinking about that. She was thinking about air, breathing one more time. So that brings me to think of think of. Consciously thinking of every, what do you say, bless you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Excuse me. But uh, think of consciously thinking of every breath you take. <laughs> all day. Yeah, all day, 24 <laughs> hours a day. That that's That's what life is. I mean, that's what we think is, of. Is consciously being uh, aware aware of life of life of breath. That's what life is. But we don't even think about us breathing in the morning. We just wake up. Right. Or some of us don't sleep, but you know. <laughs> but I mean, we just wake up and think that breathing is a given. Right. Yeah. Take that for granted. Just and and go on through our lives oh, and try to set yep. it up, and uh -huh. we're doing this and we're doing that. But to consciously step back and to actually think of breath as life, right. as, as serious as it really is, and, and to, to put uh, it in perspective, right, in perspective allow to, your life to revolve and, around and, it. Around every breath, breath. every yeah. exhale, every inhale, to actually consciously be aware of that. That's hard work. Yeah. That's consciousness. That's discipline. Mm. That's life. That's a real high level of sophistication. Yeah. And um, that's the the breatharian life. Life, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, uh, I can get in a good 30 minutes of that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I'm consciously, you yeah, know, I yeah. mean, I'm working at it. Working hard, right. I'm consciously trying to, you know. Blood but, air. But, you know, yes. I got a question. Yeah. Why come fishes can't breathe air and they can only breathe water? 
why can't there breathe air? Yeah. What you said? Okay. Why can't? Well, they breathe? still deal with oxygen. But well, you said breathe water. Well, okay. You saying basically breathe underwater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. The folks that it got so filthy that they no longer are clean enough to be able to actually breathe oxygen. They have to absorb the oxygen through. But that their was gills. actually one of our questions. Well, yeah, and I and but I know you asked I, it in a way that it. It might not. Well, let's don't right. even remind them because they might. Yeah, be well, we're ass. helping. Yeah, I, I was given a. Uh, there, I've, I've gotten some requests from folks to maybe go ahead and answer that question and move on to some other ones. Since, oh, okay. Well, that's you fine. know, that's which fine. which might be. Uh, Did we stump the panel? Uh, well, maybe what what we could do. Yeah, I think we stumped the panel. Well, maybe what we could do is go ahead and open it up. To everybody, even the eratists. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, well, go ahead. The, the eratists, well, they might not uh, get a free book. They can get a copy of Eret's uh, poem called Eratism. <laughs> <laughs> we can run a copy of that uh, off for them, and they can have that to put okay. frame. Well, and put, um, so, so, so you're saying coming up with a new... Yeah, with, so, okay, for, so, yeah, so right now... Well, no, well, not yet. First, we got to finish the old business, so we'll okay. put the question out there one last time. Why is eating fish the absolute worst form of meat that you could eat? And this, of course, goes against the grain of the medical establishment who tries, the health to, establishment. tries to not even <laughs> consider fish. Well, the health <laughs> I mean, establishment, they think eating fish oh, is healthy. Yeah. I mean, right. you know, they, they, the like, holistic thing. Right, know? right. That That's something that's, uh, you know, and that's one of the extremely bizarre uh, kind of concepts out there so we're we'd like to know what and we have a scientific reason why that that is the most harmful substance that you could put into your body in terms of um you know before you get into drinking bleach i guess and right and all that kind of <laughs> kind of right. stuff but so but th- now it's open to everybody so if one of our fellow eratists out there would like to call in and go ahead and educate the brothers and sisters out there about this What's very the number? important topic the number is five one three seven four nine one four 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 that's five one three seven four nine one four 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 and uh go on ahead and, and for those who are on the web on. and have not heard us before uh in you know in town we're talking about the mucusless diet healing system we are eritus um we practice a thing called the mucusless diet healing system where we um, are trying to transition away from mucus-forming foods. Yes. That's what this show is about. And um, we play music uh, sometimes by a group called the Breatharian Ensemble. And, uh, wow. But other than that, that's what this, I mean, <laughs> right. that's what the show is about. Music of the Breatharian Ensemble and about the diet. Yep. You know, the mucusless diet healing system. More of about the mucusless diet healing system than playing the music. We'll slip that. We'll slip a little bit in every now and then. Yeah. And uh, we had a good, we had a good, um, Brett Aaron Ensemble had a great concert over yes. the weekend. Yeah. Uh, we performed at the, uh, with the Freedom Fest. Yeah. And uh, I think we are, uh, eligible to say because of one person being there in presence we told we turned the mother out <laughs> Bibba Bubba. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah Bootsy, yeah, Bootsy yeah. mc didn't he really got a gas out of we came we saw we kicked it mucus yes <laughs> yeah and uh um, it's mucus and and we we really enjoyed that the the whole vibe you know with all the bands coming together the whole camaraderie of all the cats you know all the different bands i think it was is what yes is uh, what mario uh, abney uh, quintet us and the group before us was called special special yeah it was an r&b yeah. group and yeah. it was just a beautiful vibe i've got a chance to we got some backstage videos yeah and I'm enjoying yeah. those yeah the and, weather was great yeah weather was really nice yeah. uh people yeah, the vibe yeah the yeah. people were real nice i mean just the vibe was really clean right you know, right for, yeah, for yeah, that yeah. for the all the the the, the hot dog 
eating and all that was pretty far away yeah. <laughs> from the stage. Folks didn't, didn't get even, that close. Didn't even uh, check out the free ice cream grater. Yeah, they was out when we were on. Yeah, when we were on. You know, because I might end up in that coffin that yeah, was on stage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you might have to look at the at the uh, site. So yeah, once know, once that gets up, that. you're gonna yeah. wanna you're gonna wanna see that. The, the, uh, yeah, but we'll leave that there. The burial. Yes, the burial and the resurrection. And the resurrection, <laughs> right? You know. Yeah, we will leave that. But so, uh, uh, yeah, but it was a good it was a good day. boy. The band was on fire. I have to uh, publicly say that the horn players are back. <laughs> the horn players are back. Yes, yeah. Sir. They are yeah. back, bro. They yeah. were like, you know, putting the, the fire in the in the kill, boy. I mean, I mean it was, we wasn't on fire. We were yeah. really hitting, but yeah. we wasn't on fire. You know, and um, it, was, uh, it was really a... Uh, you know, the whole band was just playing great. Uh, you know, it was Boots, like I say, Bootsy was just, he was floored over the presentation. And, you know, because it, it took him back and it took him ahead, you know, because of yeah, the message. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, he was really you interested know, in the message. And, that the uh, world was flat when it was round. When it was round. <laughs> <You know. laughs> and he checked we out the. Uh, yeah. Yo, my. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, go ahead. We're gonna pull the, the mucus out your body. body. <laughs> so Bootsy yes, really, he, he dug that, and and uh, uh, he he was turned on to Professor's transformation. Yeah, yeah and he, he couldn't believe that. And um, it was just and and Baby Bobby G is supposed to be working with him on up and coming mm. uh, something that they got going. Uh, you know what it is? I think it was something about a march. Uh, with the Bengals or something. The march on Cincinnati or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's something, and you might see it in, so, yeah, in the media. So, so be, be looking out for Baby Bobby G working with Boosie yeah. for real soon. Yeah. And um. Uh, uh, you know, oh, and the uh, music fest was next door at the Paul Brown Stadium. Yeah, Mary J. Bly Mary did J. not Bly. show she after not they uh, see, and that just seems just just really rank, man. To buy tickets for fifty, seventy five dollars, a hundred dollars, and you come from Detroit or someplace, and uh, the person that you really wanted to see doesn't show. Seems like you have every right to uh you know ask for your money back but i don't think nobody did i think it's pretty much well the other people showed well i mean i could have been a real big mary j bly fan and i really wanted to see her you know and mm -hmm. and i don't know what the whole there's you know uh they say deal she, was because I, I thought that the weather was bad so they couldn't leave but then somebody else said there was a whole back door kind of action going on she conference called uh i mean like uh man she could have been up in the west and here talking on the phone talking about you know I'm not, like they don't have my money really right. you know? yeah but yeah. that's why i'm here but i'm not coming on something was up but i just i just thought that was rank man to to promote her like that and then not for her to show and then you not being in a position to to uh give people you know refunds man i mean that was you know that that's a strange piece you know but because uh, i didn't have a clue about anybody else that was there i mean i didn't know who they were well you know maze i mean that well that was saturday night <laughs> saturday we but, talking about yeah Friday. i mean but maze uh was it the oj's okay i mean i know who they are i mean yeah. I, we used to rock with them I mean, they used to make every jazz festival or every music fest back in the seventies, and so. Uh, but it was, you know, it was it was a nice, nice evening. We uh, did some street performing, and uh, that went real well. Uh, uh, Sister Benita, she did some, and mm -hmm. uh, that went well, and so everything yeah, was. It was uh, a cool. I want to definitely uh, give a shout out and a special thanks to Jay. Who oh, was, man. Uh, he was such, Boy, he was, 
Great was, help, man. I mean, he was he was dino mite, dino mite, yeah. JJ, you know, yeah, like, yeah. boy. And, and uh, we, but we thank you from the from the bottom of our hearts, man, for all the you know the the work you were doing, man, making it so easy for us and me, man, with all that equipment, you know, it just you were just a help, uh, uh, leap and his family, X, yes. They were just all, you just know, Sister Benita, yeah. they were just all just just on the one, man, yeah. working as a team, uh, constructing the coffin. <laughs> right, I'm in it up. Yeah, yeah it all's on video, but it's yeah, nice. We, we, you know, we, we got were, our... We were, they were just all working, really and we just, just really wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. And, um, you know, so, I mean, they felt... I felt like they were a part of the whole performance because they oh, yeah. they had a lot to do with getting it up and 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 you know and so that's the way that the team posed the work yeah yeah and everybody gets the credit you know and uh, so that was that was uh, a good thing man so it was a good weekend it was tiring boy I I shut it down I think Monday I mean mm-hmm. it was, it was like, yeah. August yeah yeah. Oh, I'd and, uh, like to give a shout out to um, Doctor Who. His birthday's coming up. Oh wow, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom- uh, tomorrow. Oh, is yeah. it tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, man. Yeah. Maybe you can call in and say some in, in between the drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, like, what is this? Yeah, hold it in. Be like, hey, what's up, guys? How y'all? Right, 425 God, he's probably working on his sixth second, or seventh second, probably on his, about his second intimate now yeah, so he's probably yeah. holding it in right now and listening and saying wow they want me to call it wait <laughs> eliminate then call okay? right 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 and we won't keep yeah. you long just yeah. you know kind of give us a a yearly wrap up of of how this year went for you and what yeah. you got planned for the the coming year yeah. you know and just you know, yeah, two thousand eight. Yeah, you know, and so uh, beautiful, man. One more year, boy. You here, and um, that's that's a good thing, man. And um, you know, he's out, he's out there uh, building all kind of uh, buildings. <laughs> yeah, he's hard at hard at work, building yeah, buildings. Yeah, you know. So that's that's a uh, good thing. Yeah, um, a- Sister Angela. Uh, She's, you know, working hard at, at really trying to uh, liberate herself. Liberation. Yeah, liberate. <laughs> That's yeah. the word. And yep. I think it's going to happen this time. Yeah. And um, so uh, that's a good thing. Yeah. You know? So yeah. the camp is strong. You know? It's, it's, it's and getting definitely. Stronger. I mean, and, and uh, you know, I was talking to uh, a friend today, actually, out here. And oh, he, before you go uh, on. Another shout out before we get away from it, brother Arzell. Oh yeah, we had yeah, you know yeah, for him yeah. his tired painstaking yeah. way of dealing with the suits, you know. Right. And, yep. Uh, and and yep. to make dealing that with. festival happen. Yeah, because I mean that whole it would not have went anything like that if, right, if it wasn't right. for Arzell. If it wasn't for, for our for brother you know, Arzell, no, no, yeah. So definitely. we just uh, from the death of our and home, uh, and that was the most successful project that they had ever had at the Underground Railroad Freedom Center. I mean, they wow. made something like $10,000 on on gift shop stuff. Wow. I mean, they banked hard, you know, and they never had that kind of reception from anything ever. So, mm. you know, that's definitely wow, a, that's a testament. To Arzell, Arzell, Arzell. He's got to be the one that's, that's, that's uh, really had a hand in um, really making that thing happen. So yep. we just want to stand on his shoulders today mm-hmm. and thank him, you know, yep. him and his wife for, you know, putting up, you know. Yeah, stand it, so. on his shoulders You today. know, so. Like raw, my bird always stands on my shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but I'm finding out is uh, there's uh, debates and – and conversations that are that are finally really starting to be um kind of uh, contemplated and gone over by by the young people now you know out there the younger generation that's just now having the opportunity to get exposed to this information by way of now people you know we got this radio show we talking about it and people are kind of looking and uh you know I'm just kind of catching 
the vibes back from yeah. from some folks that are really some uh, real kind of uh, visible people, you know, out there and have a lot of have a lot of really well respected in the uh, community, and uh, you know, and they're all really kind of looking you know they're not sold on well, nothing, they're, they're, but but it's but that's what time it is is to be at least be exposed that what well, well, people what we're talking about young is, people is are, happening. Are, are trying to look for something real and not faddish anymore right i think they want something that they can really dig into and really dig into and develop and see 30 or 40 years down the road of development you know right and really see something like some some bang for their buck. Right. Where it's not about dogmatic philosophies. It's no, not about no. thinking something. This is all about the doing part. Right. The and doing. Yeah. experiencing and knowing for yourself the product uh, that is a result of your actions, not yes. what you think, not yeah. belief systems. This isn't yeah. about that. This is about how your body operates right. you know and you right now today not knowing how your body operates and that first big large hurdle that we have to get over is to be able to accept that we have no clue about the right. first thing about how our body operates right. and we're right. not going to learn it from a uh, pharmaceutical commercial on no, television no. you know and that's where most people are quoting or even a doctor half of their stuff television. especially yeah a doctor on television or in their office right you know, you you know you're just it. not going to learn and we're about talking about chronic, chronic illness. illness yeah we're, we're we're talking about see how on the palm page we we are with each other chronic, chronic illness, illness yeah. is what we're talking about we're not talking about trauma we're talking about chronic, chronic illness. illness and that all of their science is not wrong. But the thing is, is that one thing can just screw up the foundation, the whole piece, right. the, and, and it's right. like it's flawed. Right. And so when, when, when they have so many crazy ideas, it just throws off everything. Mm -hmm. And the one idea that they have not um, considered or regurgitated, you right. know, and, and, and is the mucus and pus theory. Right. See, they leave that out of everything they come up with. Right, right. And when they leave that out, that's where the flaws come in. Right. You know, that's that's where the white blood corpuscle can become a can white become, blood corpuscle. Right, that's right. where something new nutrition and yeah, metabolism, yeah. the concept that your body needs and runs off of this uh, well off uh, of this type junk. type type zero, type B, type you know, all these right, different bloods. Right. You know, it's it's very flawed, and 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 so um, we're here, as well as I mean, this thing is world reaching because the artists are all over the world, and they are on the websites. What is what is the website? Website is www.breathairmusic.com. Yeah, and and definitely go on there. I was I was happy to see we have about ten people already signed up for. The forum, all right, and that's yeah. gonna be a uh, begin to take off here very soon. Right, because right. folks are really asking the questions, and and I'm just directing them there, you know, so right. that everybody can benefit from the questions and responses for that uh, that individuals may have. And uh, but basically, what we have proven, and what folks here in Cincinnati have proven for the past thirty years is that the body is an air gas engine. Who was the first person to say that the body was an air gas engine it was Professor Arnold Errett in the late 1800s. The only person that you're going to find uh, going through historical literatures and old medical treatises and, and science uh, uh, physiological treatises, he's the only person you're going to find that totally disregarded the theory of nutrition and metabolism shot down the white blood corpuscle myth and identified the human body, or rediscovered, probably a better word, rediscovered that the human body is an air gas engine, not just his or ours, but everybody's. No matter what you are stuffing into your body today that you think you need to run, you don't need that to run. All you need to run is the air that you're breathing. Now, what is this 
garbage that we're stuffing in our body that is making us feel so terrible. It is, uh, it is stimulant. It is an indulgence, something that is not necessary. But because it's, it's we want irritant. We want to get high. Yeah, it's almost an irritant. It's well, only irritant. well to us, yeah. not to not not if you don't know. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> you know, to, if if you don't know what it's like to be to not be drunk every day, it's like I always make that comparison to if you have a child that is given alcohol every day since they were a little baby. They, they was drinking these little tiny cups, and you know, by the time they're twenty five. They are, uh, you know, drinking is an everyday thing. Right, you don't right, know right. what it is to not be drunk. That right. you operate the best right, drunk. Right. If you if you don't drink, then you better not drive because you're gonna you're gonna be going through withdrawal. Right. That's what this thing is about. But it's the real piece right. in terms of if you don't believe us, then go a couple of days without eating mucus. Yeah, you're gonna feel like you. You feel terrible. Withdrawal. That is withdrawal. It's from a drug. Now, you want to think that it's because you're starving and that you need some kind of whatever for your insides. But that is totally wrong. That is a misunderstanding of how your body is operating. Uh, all this stuff is is well, a people, big drug. People would, would would talk about. I know they always jump to. Well, the air is is so bad and it's so polluted. Yeah, the, the air air is so polluted. But you got to get people to understand about their bodies being air gases before the air starts to change. Why? Because if people understand how their bodies operate, they won't pollute what's keeping them alive. Right. That's how. That's how things have have gotten so like the 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 the, the train off the track is because people and, and 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 everybody can attest to air pollution. That's the you know oh, the air is so bad. That's how it be, that's how it got bad. Is because people don't have respect for what's keeping them alive. So the way you have to change that, people are trying to well the, the green piece. It's almost like going backwards, right, which the, I think is, is, is yeah. Well, the back door it just takes you so long to get through the house. Yeah, you know, going <laughs> that way. I mean, it's yeah, just, yeah. It's like man, it take a I man. If it took a million years to, for for things to get this crappy, it's gonna take another two million years where we could at least cut that if we understand that our right. bodies are air gas and at least we'll cut that two million years into a million years right you know of getting it back together right. so so now now with with that said it is very important to understand that one of the the huge uh really the whole piece revolves around how we get from point a to point b how do you transition yourself from your current habits to habits that are more in line with how your body actually works. That is the, uh, uh, that's the golden ticket <laughs> of understanding, being able to understand and begin to experience that transition. Because so many people, when we first start talking about, oh, people that have been doing fasting and people that have been uh, doing uh, fruit fast and things like that, people get real scared that, Dang, what if that is true? They guess you know, because that addiction kicks in and uh, you know, they wanna try to hold on to that uh, you know, that, that other thing. But what we're talking about it makes it impossible for you to get a disease. You know, if you ain't if We have a caller. <laughs> yeah. And uh not to cut you off, respect Professor. Greetings, you're on the Immortality Pipeline. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm looking for Cynthia. Oh, no, you have uh, to call the 961 number. Yeah. number. No, 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 no. Cynthia from who does Kindred Sanction? Does she have like an extension or something that I can yeah, do? Uh, uh, I don't know. They probably they probably have left, but you can call 961 8900. 961 what? 8900. 8900. Am I on the air right now? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Oh, my bad, y'all. All, <laughs> All right. You have yeah. fun yeah. now. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, but um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what's happening though. You know, just it's like we say 
uh, we said before, we're not, uh, you know, we're not arguing. We're not argumentative. This is just like don't don't shoot the messenger. You right. Know, this right. is just information that we got. Take it or leave it. You know, we've. We, and we're just tired of death. We're just, yeah, tired, just so sick much, and tired so much, of this. So much useless, this useless death that is happening because of just pure ignorance. ignorance. I mean, it's just ignorance. Yep. And when you see it and you see those uh, practitioners of keeping that thing alive, let's just kill somebody. Let's just, you know, let's. I was sitting there and listening to a, a, a police tell another rent a cop about how much medicine he was taking. Now, here's this guy. He's wearing a gun. <laughs> Got the gun. And a, and yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You know, a nice stick and tasers, and he's got the whole piece. Consciousness and he's, on and patrol. He's, yeah, and he's taking all kind of medicines, and he's taking his shot for diabetes. I mean, he's just a mess. He's in no, con no condition to be making decisions about this sick society. But... He probably gets honors and right, the, uh, the captain. Yeah, his <laughs> rise right yeah, to the top. Yeah, he probably. I mean, it, yeah. but it was. I just said, and listen, I could hear it perfectly. Everything he was saying, and right. he was just so proud, man. I take eighteen pills a day. Yeah, and yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> yep. like, like wow, you know yep. this cat, and this is a guy you go to with a problem, <laughs> right? Uh, hey. you know, it's, it's. I mean, I was watching yeah. on television. Of this lady, and uh, she was uh, she had uh, diabetes and um, mm -hmm. stuff, and then the it was this big old disease, and then the doctors they couldn't help her. Yeah, well, I mean, that's they, they just quit on her. Yeah. Well, the doctors can't really help help anybody. Anybody can't help it, themselves. when it comes right when it unless comes unless it's to some the, trauma if they can right, stop trauma, bleeding yeah. or some internal sew it up and and uh, and, I mean, and, I'm, and you, know. you know we we had just uh, uh, me uh, I think Doctor Who and myself saw the uh, the sicko. Uh, oh yeah, 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 we had seen that you know and and I tend to not discuss some of those things just because it's so twisted to be able to discuss a lot of that stuff that's on that documentary you have to understand that the body's air gas engine you have right. to have that kind of as the foundation then we could have a, a right. good talk about that but right. just from the beginning from the kind of the moral standpoint of some of the things he was hitting on at the beginning there was a, a guy that had lost a couple fingers and they gave him like ultimatum like you you have to, you know, you have to choose which finger you want because you can't afford to have both sewed back on. <laughs> if he was in another country, they would have just did it. They'd have just sewed it right. back on. They'd have worried about costs later. But here, you know, it's like, well, one was his pinky was, was twelve thousand, and the ring finger was twenty thousand or something. So he went for the for the yeah, pinky, you know, and he wow. and uh, you know, and so that, but that's the kind of uh, pathological kind of uh sickness you know and uh, decision making that comes out of capitalism and that entire uh, thing that's all mucus based you know oh that, yeah that is so that's, oh yeah take mucus out the equation and you will see the uh fast death of yeah. capitalism yeah oh yeah, yeah. it's done <laughs> and mucus and, and mucus and pus is that's why we go we, we're so easy to go for capitalism that's why it works so good on us yeah you know, yeah, because, because we're just we're stomachs. Yeah, we're just, just stomachs. A bunch of stomachs. We, just, we don't think. You know, this is not a thinking uh, country. We just react. Right. This, I don't know what this thing is we call thinking. Is. Right. I don't. I mean, that's, you know, we <laughs> we're, 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 we have too much uh, irritant type of uh, irritation. Man, 32 you know? feet of impact in intestines. You're fermenting feces. Yeah. That's just permeating everybody's. And that's why nobody Body. can sit still, and it's just you know it's uh, just all this nervous energy, you right? Know, that's, that's, that's bubbling, and you just, uh, just so it's ugh. it's deep. But you got anything? Man? Yeah, we I, actually, uh, Doc Dockery. Oh is, wow, uh, is, in, is in the house. Back. He is he is in the house, and he's he's got a few a few things to discuss with everybody. In the oh, he got out. They uh, say they they sold his well, they sold something back on. 
Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so Doc's it, back. It, well, it'd be Doc, good to hear from Doc. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Doc Dockery, and you are tuned into Bizarro World Headline News. And today, I would like to go over some important statistics with you here. We've gotten to the midpoint of 2007, so we'd like to see how we're doing. A world population, 6.6 billion people all over the world. And uh, in just today, we have had uh, 179,000 people have died today. And 157 of those were all due to mucus poisoning. They were all due to diseases, various kinds of disease. A couple other interesting tidbits for you to think about. Um, uh, traffic accidents had killed 3,735 people. And uh, out of all of the deaths, uh, war has claimed 500 and 37 lives. So it's an interesting comparison. Uh, 157,000 disease suffering people that, uh, that died from disease and compared to the 537 that died from war. Um, next, would like to send it off to uh, Miss uh, Emily Dickerson and Angela Landsfurter in the office they are having a spirited conversation about the environment ozone we know can make asthma worse it can lead to lung damage it can affect plants negatively uh, so again this is linked back to global warming what about water on the planet is there enough is there too much drought because of global warming is the water safe that's very important you know one of the things that they're very concerned about and a lot of people think we're already starting to see this certainly in developing countries is shifting patterns of where you see drought and where you see floods what scientists are concerned about is that these would become more consistent and more persistent and we would see some serious problems for the very old the very young and people with chronic medical conditions in other words we would go through time periods where there's no relief from it so far they've only been sporadic but that that could change if if the climate continues down the path that's on now it's amazing and here you break it down just how many areas it really does affect us in everyday life. In everyday life and really all around the world, especially in developing countries who might not have all the resources we do to combat some of these things right now. You guys are full of crap. It is the mucus that kills us. Yes, I uh, would like to thank them for their, their, their spirited conversation. There was a lot of uh, information that we were uh, able to get from that. And uh, as always, remember to, uh, as, as the great doctor from uh, Australia told us, that uh, picking your nose is one of the healthiest things. Picking your nose and eating it is one of the healthiest things that you can do for yourself to make sure uh, you get your fingers ready and do that. This has been Doc Dockery, and I'd like to send it back to you guys in the studio. And this has been Bizarro World Headline News. Thanks, guys. All right. Ah, man, where do you What's get next? The Pakistan? Uh, where, where do you get, uh, where does Doc get his information? But we know that wherever he gets it from, it is the truth, the gospel truth. And um, yes. that's just, he's a, I mean, I was listening. He's a hardworking journalist. I mean, yeah, really I was listening to the to women to talk, man, and all I could think of, my reply was, you know, right. like, what, what, like what, what does this mean? And yeah. so, I mean, but that's, uh, oh, that's what I wanted to ask you. Did we have any music this week? Uh, Did we have any music? Uh, uh, you know, if you didn't, uh, it's cool because we can. Well, we we yeah. now that we we've, we we've filled up that pretty good. We'll yeah. we'll we'll maybe start the the ending music, the the credit music, uh, a little early. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, anybody can call in too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Call in. I know Five we, one three seven the, four the, nine one four four four. Yes. Yeah, call in I know and folks talk sometimes about. Sometimes tend to, for some reason or another, want to 
wait to the last yeah. second when we're wrapping up and <laughs> call in, all of a sudden the foes start to and let us know what up. you're doing uh physiologically or just health wise as far as um re- recreating yourself and regenerating yourself and um where is that static coming from i don't know i've um, never we've never had that problem before uh, so i don't know what 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 the, the and deal remember is. If you don't believe what we're saying, then you can have death your way. Yep. I mean, there it is. Right on. Death your way. Yep. I just yeah, saw a thing on TV. They were you know, talking about the glorifying McDonald's and Burger King for their their, their savvy uh, oh, marketing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah know, well, you know, the trans fatty fats that they're trying to do with – you know, changing their oil. Yeah. From this, this from snake oil from, to yeah, from Crisco <laughs> to <laughs> Right. To whatever. From pig lie to you know. Right. From, it was I did I did see an interesting documentary this week that really kinda proves our thing, but it, it shows, you know, in that big global, you know, we just listening to the global warming and all this this concern for the globe all of a sudden you know they they always talk about the depleted resources and how we you know abuse gas and not you know natural gas and all that stuff first of all we can we need to understand what that is that's waste product so yeah. just like when you when you first start the diet and you're fasting and you're basically running on all of your old waste um you know that's basically what we're doing right now. We're overstimulated, uh, little filthy corpuscles running on our old waste, and that's where all that, that oil is. All the old waste. So once all that oil is gone, then it's like okay, now we need to get into the alternatives because we're addicted to it. We're addicted to jumping in a car and running to the store and doing this, and, and you know we had to the lifestyle that we're going to have to move to once all of that stimulant is gone is going to be a more, uh, you know, more rational lifestyle. And that's kind of where, uh, you know, we, we come in, you know, with, with, with an answer because they don't have an answer. The folks that are at a lot of asking these questions now, they have their little kind of like, well, what about electric car? Well, nah, you still – at at the basis of that, you still got to find ways to do that. Well, what about solar energy? Yeah, but that's, you know, the infrastructure, you know, is all that. Basically, what is going to happen is uh, people are going to be forced to uh, change their lifestyles. Uh, exactly. And, uh, I mean, to be a, a, to, to a much more rational uh, lifestyle. And uh, so th- that's where this thing that we're talking about is gonna be hand in glove because, because that time. like you said the back door they gotta yeah. go they can't, well, well, yeah, they because, gotta go in the because back door. the whole key to health if we want to use that word wow we're getting some static wow, I don't know what uh that. maybe that's uh them i don't know hey they they trying to yeah they trying to, <laughs> trying to suppress the information to suppress the, man. The, infor- the man the man yeah you know, you know the but, man's, um, he's on he's on the on the roof with with some equipment you know i don't know well i was saying something about uh what are we talking about man the static the, that went through my yeah, head. Yeah, see? It zapped me. <laughs> it zapped me. Zapped us. We uh, yeah. talk about the whole, well, the lifestyle change that is going to be, that nature will force upon us if we do not get it together for ourselves. Right, right, right. You know, right. if we don't get it together for ourselves, nature always will be there to uh, put us in check. Yeah. You know, yeah. because we we think that we've mastered nature because we can you know if we want to move the grand canyon over 50 yards then we can do it because <laughs> we got the equipment and uh the capability and we are gods of nature so right, right. when uh people can't even uh you know you take all the the type of people that are so respected in our culture all the the football players and the great athletes and you know, let these folks get a little cold or a sniffle, and they knocked on the on the back of their head. And um, you know, so we're, now we're talking about real mastery here, mastery of the body, physiological mastery, mastery of the breath. Right. Yeah. Right. right. I, 
think that if we, if the Breath Bear Ensemble didn't come out, then there would never be uh, no help coming to this, to this, to this like world. I mean, me and Brother Air was about to leave to Africa. So yeah. Oh yeah. okay. Well, I mean, I think I understand if what you're saying. He wasn't here. Well, I mean, I I truly believe that it all comes in time and there will be another wave. It might take 100 years or 200 years of people to have that kind of passion to set their lives up around this, you know, and, and have a camp of people to, to come together. And, I mean, it's not like we have a camp of thousands. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, it's we just, were it's, meant to do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was time. It was We were born to do this. I mean, this was what we were posed to do. I'm and, lucky uh, we didn't go to Africa. Yeah. Seriously. So, I mean, we still might. I mean, it, you know, and, 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 and help there. You know, <laughs> help there. You know, because they need it. You know, because they're still eating fufu and and all kind of stuff. That, I mean, monkeys and, I mean, just, you know, steaks and hamburger. I mean, they got McDonald's over there. I mean, America has been the sword among men for many a year, you know, as far as corrupting. Uh, uh, so, I mean, right. they're all over there. So I have to, uh, before we get out of here, do a couple uh, PSAs first. Uh, mentoring program growing up can be very rough when you're alone. If you are looking for a fun and rewarding way to spend some of your free time, then the Coryville Family Resource Center's mentoring program is for you. They are pairing adult mentors with Coryville youth ages 7 to 18. If you are available two to four times a month to commit to this worthwhile program, please call Rich at 513-281-2306. Uh, radio reading services via personal reader by reading mail and other correspondence for visually handicapped people in your neighborhood. Call Radio Reading Services for more information at 221-8558. Be sure to stay tuned after this program. We have Heinz and German Tunes of the Queen City coming up after this. We also, uh, also be sure to tune in on Fridays, Friday evening slots, all evening is uh, just great, great revolutionary programming. Um, Dr. Drum is holding it down from 8 to 11 p.m. on theirs, but the whole evening is wonderful, uh, nine, wonderful. I mean, that's, that's 9 to 11. 9 to 11, sorry. Yeah. And uh, so it's a good time to just uh, get near the radio and, and, uh, you know, and hang out. So, um, Top of the hour. Yep, that's uh, it. Okay. I think this was a powerful show. Uh, uh, what? A, how, how does the audience feel? Let me hear what you say. Uh, audience, all, well, ho- well, that audience meter. Maybe, maybe all they're right. all doing their enemas right now. Right. Maybe yeah, they're yeah, all. Let's, let's think like that. Yeah. Let's let's nobody like that. Can, can can call in because they're they're in the middle of the of can the acid they, rush. Somebody give me ten lemons. No. <laughs> <laughs> Drop me off twenty lemons. Oh yeah, at the door. Really, <laughs> right. Donate the. Boy, the, they the, they get outrageous with the lemon prices. I mean, they just are going crazy. You know, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, well, beautiful guess, show. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that'll wrap it up for today. This is Professor Spira. It's Brother Air. Baby Bobby G, and wave that bat like it's your flag. <laughs> Say that one more time. Wave that bag like it's your flag. Okay. Wave that bag like it's your flag. There you go. All right, peace, love, and breath.